Well, the reason I am so into the Welcome app is because prior to using it, being in a power chair, when I went out and about to various venues, what I was finding was people either didn't speak to me, let alone look at me, they would look at the people behind me or beside me. And if I asked a question, well, I thought they were listening because they were looking at me, but they would answer the person next to me. And that is even my bank manager in my old bank. Being in a power chair, I sort of get used to this. I got used to this was how you got treated because I've only been in a power chair about seven years. So I just thought, well, that this, this is how it goes. This is how customer service is. And I realised, like, other disabled must be going through this as well. So you just kind of put up and shut, shut up and just deal with it. But once I started to use the app, and when I went into venues, people were talking to me. My PA and my carer was invisible, which they loved, by the way. And people were, when I was asking questions, they were answering me. They were looking at me in the eye. When I arrived, they were using my name. So this was like in stark contrast to what I was getting before. So I had to keep using the app to find out, are all these venues that have got the app like this? And they were, and they are. And that's why I keep going to these venues because the customer service is complete opposite of what I was getting before because what I was getting before was demoralizing and it's demoralizing to disabled whether it's a physical disability or a hidden disability. So the stark contrast is like polyester and silk. So that is why I love the Welcome app so much. And even today, Jonathan Attenborough and I and his guide dog Sam, we went into Visit Scotland um, Information Centre in Buchanan Street in Glasgow. And as we both walked in, Magda said, Hi Kim, how are you? And so did David. We get treated like we're, we're VIP customers. And I was asking about what was going on in Glasgow that's accessible in 2020. And we actually ended up getting information and things that are not even in the public domain. And we had a lovely chat and we went away with her information. I'd also asked her to look up a fact on my condition, muscular dystrophy, and Magda had done it and answered me back with it. So we just left, Jonathan and I, feeling elated. We had a visit after that to some other venue, but I'm going to keep that for tomorrow because that story is amazing. But thanks for listening and thanks for all your support, guys with a welcome app chat group. I think you are all amazing and I love each day what I learn from you. So I will speak to you soon, maybe see you soon and hopefully meet you soon. Okay, bye.